slash vlog. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's a, it's a little toy <clears throat> hunt video and vlog. And one thing I want to talk about, my Facebook like got in, in uh, like deactivated because it asked me to verify my name. I guess I can't use Sehaman videos for whatever reason. And um, I had to put my information in there, like my, my name and stuff. And it's like pending approval, which is weird. It's dumb. I don't know why all of a sudden it did that. And so my Facebook is, is like in, inactive right now, which really sucks because I use Facebook a lot. You know, I'm always on Facebook. I'm on Facebook more than I am on Instagram. But um, it just sucks that that, that happened. I don't know. I, I think I heard, I think I remember hearing Shardimus saying that he had the same problem um, like maybe sometime last year. But I just, it just was weird that all of a sudden it, it asked me to verify like my name and then now I'm just waiting for approval. So I'm not active on Facebook for the past, like it's gonna be like day. So that kind of sucks. Um, a few changes to the channel, not necessarily changes to the channel. I think there's just been stuff I've been doing already, but just not as much is the movie reviews. You guys are gonna be seeing a lot more movie reviews that I'm gonna be doing. Now, I'm not no film critic. I'm just giving you my opinion on movies that I'm gonna see. It's uh, almost summertime, so we're gonna start getting a lot of the big movies coming out, and as you guys know, or if you guys don't know, I love movies. I have so many Blu-rays that you guys, it's DVDs too, but Blu-rays is the main thing I collect nowadays. Um, I haven't even showed any hauls for Blu-rays that I've picked up, and I gotta start getting back on that. But, um, and I know I've been saying the Blu-ray collection, but geez, if you guys can see how much Blu-rays I have, you guys will understand why I haven't done it yet. But uh, going back to what I was saying here, so yeah, I love movies. My girlfriend as well loves going to you know watch movies, loves different types of movies. So I'm you know I'm up for it. I'm I'm gonna be doing more movie reviews. But like I said, I'm no film critic whatsoever. I'm no movie like expert. You know what I mean? But I just I enjoy movies. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of reviews this summer. I mean we got a lot of stuff coming out. So that's gonna be really awesome. And um, what else? What else? What else? I think that's about it. So just be expecting more movie reviews. And if you guys enjoy those movie reviews, let me know in the comments below. Um, so right now, what I'm gonna be doing, I'm just gonna hit a couple stores, see what's 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 out right now. Uh, I'm just going to off Chino in um, Chino Hills, California. I'm gonna check out Walmart, Target, and Toys R Us. And just see when, if I can you know, get any little footage here and there inside the store. And um, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So I'll check back with you guys. Whoa, check back with you guys in a, in a quick minute. All right, so we're exiting the freeway. I got the fisheye lens on the iPhone. Something that I really need to use a lot more is this fisheye lens. This is really cool. So we're exiting Chino right here. We're gonna go across the street when we're done. Here you can see there's um, Dick's Sporting Goods and Target. You know what, wasn't, I don't know if you guys have a Dick's Sporting Good in your area, but I remember when it was called Chicks and then it went from Chicks to Dicks. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what the hell that's about, but it went from Chicks to Dicks kind of weird so here we are right here we're almost in this area if you guys if you guys are local in this area I've mentioned this before head over to this to off Chino what is it off of um Grand I think it's off Grand is what the exit is yeah Grand Avenue off the 71 and you guys can um there's a Best Buy here there's a Tilly's here uh there's a lot of places to eat around here too there's a GameStop here for all you gamers out there and then Walmart is on the right hand side Every time I try to come to this Walmart, this is pretty much the only Walmart I go to, but I try to see if I can find those um, NECA, ex not, not NECA exclusives, well, I guess they're Walmart exclusives of the reissues of the endoskeletons and the um, and the Robocop, the spring holster, but I can't find them here. <clears throat> I mean, not that I'm like in a rush to get them because I still do have my other ones, but I, don't know, I just wanna check them out. So we're gonna head inside right here. Don't be looking at my cracked glass windshield. Dealing with the toy collector when you see just random toys lying around in the car and yeah, we have Batman back there. Let's grab the coffee and uh, to Walmart we go. In the toy aisle. 
really there's nothing good here but sometimes you might come there's a legends same old stuff it's the same old same old same old see like the black series here the black series here never has, never has anything it always has the same figure which is Greedo these jokers are cool they're stocked on these uh, Batman multiverse ones they have a lot of these these uh, cartoonish DC figures, which I do like. I actually do like these. The Total Heroes, that's what it is. But nothing in the Legends. You can see all here, it's just nothing new. I don't know if this is kind of blurry. So Walmart's a fail. Walmart, there's nothing good in Walmart. Um, Jesus. There's always like all kinds of crazy traffic to get out of the uh, parking structure here at Walmart. But there was nothing, there was nothing really good here at all. Um, once in a while you might find a figure here and there, but they don't have a lot of action figures here to choose from. They got it, they got some decent, if you guys are into Legos, they got some decent Legos here. But um, I didn't film the, uh, the new to little toy aisle they have, which is where they sell their NECA stuff and some of their Funko items um it was way too packed because it's it's right by the the cashiers where they have that new section at and it's just way too packed to get footage right there because there was just a line full of people and i would have to like squeeze by them with my camera and they're going to think i'm like recording them or something because you're literally side by side with with these people as as uh <laughs> as you're looking at the toys there but there was nothing good there even movies there wasn't even a good uh, selection of movies here i don't know what's going on with um like the blu-rays and, and dvds and stuff because it just seems like everything is just slowly going away when it comes to movies and, and dvds and, and, and like selling them in stores i know target somewhat still has a good selection which is where i'm heading to right now walmart i guess no i i can't even say because the one where i live by corona they don't even have a good selection of movies and this one here is a bigger walmart and this one has a little bit more of a variety but they didn't have anything good today. But I'm right. I'm going to literally across the street to the um, Target. So we're gonna see what they have here. This Target usually has some decent stuff. I mean, if there, if there's anything I can say I'm really looking for, it's um, some of the Black Series from Star Wars. I don't know if you guys know that I do collect them. I just don't do reviews on them. Why I don't know. But um, I mean, I'm a Star Wars fan. You know, I got the Adat shirt on, but. I want to see if um, I can find any of the any, any of the black series, the newer black series. I'm not I'm not about to go pay because they have them everywhere at Frank and Sons. And sometimes, to be honest with you guys, I've, I've I've mentioned this before. Like down here, we have Frank and Sons, we have comic stores, and you can just go there to pick up an action figure. But sometimes it's always fun to hunt for figures. And I know a lot of you guys, it sucks because a lot of you guys don't have you know the luxury of you know going to like what we do with Frank it says and getting whatever you need but you know sometimes I like to go and do toy, hunt, toy hunts as well and look for stuff on my own and I don't want to pay the scalper price that they do like at Frank and Sons or eBay and all that so there's Target right here so let's go ahead and head inside guys I didn't get any, I didn't get any footage at um, Toys R Us or Toys R Us Target because there was literally nothing in that damn store like nothing it was so empty so I was like I'm, I literally walked in and out but I'm at Toys R Us and uh, look at this line of people right here. What is this, for the Amiibos again? Look at that. Look at, see that? A line of people. Uh-oh, let's go see what's up. What's going on? What's going on over here? Yeah, it is for the Amiibos, look at this. The line goes outside, the front. This is all for the Amiibos. That's the video game section over here. Crazy. But I'm going to the toy section because I don't deal with any of those. What do we got here? Same old stuff. Man, I was hoping they'd have like a truck in. Wandering in circles. Some Spider Man legends there, but nothing good. Look at the NECA stuff, it's completely like dead. They have nothing. This Toys R Us has not had anything. When they change this section here, this is where the NECA stuff used to be. And the um, the wrestling figures are still here. But 
Here's all the Jurassic Park stuff. Some of the Transformer stuff for all you Transformer collectors. Last time I was here, I saw this. This is actually pretty cool. Check this out. Let's catch some Decepticons. Transform. I think it. I thought it was music. Roll up and roll out. Yeah, Transforms too. This is pretty cool. I actually like this. Though I'm not a big Transformers fan, but it looks like these are new. I don't know, they look cool. I just, I just, for some reason, I just can't get into, um, ooh, still going. I just can't get into Transformers. I don't know what it is for all you DC multi. Look, these are all gone. You see, they have the case right here. This is pretty cool. It's like I was saying, yeah, I want to see if I can take this display case here. But look at, for all you DC multiverse fans, they have a lot of the, um, Nightwings and Killer Crocs. So you can see that here. And this is the Toys R Us in Chino. So, Saba Sabers, Tiger Zords, White Ranger figure from the legacy line from the movie line but I always feel like I'm at home when I come to Toys R Us or Target you guys feel the same way I was actually telling my girlfriend that all this stuff nothing good I've seen a lot of these here now these Minecraft things I know nothing of Minecraft the turtle area I think this is, no, I think this one's new. I haven't really been seeing anything good from the turtle line lately. I thought these were going to be like a hot item, like, you know, but they're everywhere. I mean, nothing new here. Same old stuff. What's that? A little play set. Look at these. That's so crazy that the turtles have like their own aisle. I don't mind. I like the turtles. It's pretty cool. SpongeBob, little SpongeBob section. Believe it or not, I actually picked up one of these rings for my um, my Neko Rocky figures. So you guys will be setting a, you, you guys will be seeing a setup on that pretty soon. I picked up actually one of these banks too. I picked up the um, the Batman one. I can't, I can't find the Joker anymore. I should have picked it up when I had a chance. But I think it's a cool like display piece creep up on this amiibo line. Careful there, little guy. Did you guys see that? Jeez. There's nothing here. I like that display poster though. That's crazy stuff. Me and my girlfriend are actually going to the beach this weekend. I should pick this up. This is pretty cool though. This is like actually pretty cool for kids. Something I should get my son. Like these, these are dope. I have this. The moon in my room. I really like that. And you can use that for a good nightlight or if you're for your, if you guys are into ACBA, it's a good little piece too. Mars in my room. That's dope. Cool little kid section. We got fossils and stuff. That's awesome. Little flame. I love these things right here. These are awesome. I've always wanted one and I never got one. I should buy one, shouldn't I? Wacky Lab. Whoa. I love this display in my room. This. This is so cool. Come here. Look at the line. It's still going on. Guys, by the time you guys are watching this, this is actually later on in the day. From the last time I shot a video, it was earlier in the morning. I'm actually, I just picked up my son. You can see him right in the back. So we're actually gonna go to Toys R Us in Fullerton and we're gonna see exactly what they have. And that'll be the last stop for today. And then we're gonna call it, uh, we're gonna call it. Quicks. No, don't want to what? I don't want to go to the store. <laughs> he doesn't want to go to the store. But we're going to go to the store. So we'll see you in a bit. So this is the Fullerton Toys R Us right here. So you can see they have a way better selection of items. So you can see they have the Freddy's here. Tons of Godzilla's. They still have a Terminator 2 packs. This is Planet of the Apes, of course. But look at this, okay? Watch this. So they got the Marvel Legend three packs. They got some over here. 
and they got tons over here. And they have more at the front. Hey, look, there's some over there too. And then look over here. They got a full wave of the Thanos set. You can see they have their stock of uh, Spider-Man Legends and the uh, Avengers Legends. You can see all that right there. And there's more on the other side. But there's no Star Wars Black Series. The scalpers or someone's taking them all. Which really sucks. Left Toys R Us. We got Saha Man Jr. right here. So he didn't pick up anything, but he wanted to do you he, he wanted to do the videos for this. He was he so crazy. He wanted he wanted these, right? These he's he's really into the mystery minis kind of thing. And even though this isn't by Funko, um, I don't know who makes this. Ooh. This is I'm a thinking toy, think way. I'm not sure who makes this movie exclusive Illumination Entertainment, but it has um it's like a it's like a mystery bag with a bunch of the minions from, from, um, what movie is this from, babe? I don't know the movie. Minion, oh, I guess it's from Minions the movie, but what's the movie that they come on? I forgot the name. Despicable Me. Despicable Me. So let's go ahead and... Despicable Me. This guy's going to end up starting up his own, um, YouTube channel. What's that noise? Oh. All right, let's do this here. I think I need scissors, Jay. I've never opened these before. I've never had any of these before, and I think we need scissors for these. Oh, I got it. So I don't even know what these look like. Oh, oh, okay. So we got, they have a little base that they come in. This is pretty cool. So we got one right here. It doesn't look like there's any articulation on them, but these are cute. These are cute little guys. Look at these. Look how cool these are. I like this. Look at this. This is cool. So they come with a little base, and then they come with these this little minion thing right here. And it tells you all the characters. So that's one. Let's put this in my flame whirler hey, trash. I'm so, cute. so we got another one right here. Oh, it does have a tearaway part. Are you kicking something? Nope. Here's another one. Oh, so we got another guy right here. They have names. So this is Kevin. So we got Kevin right here. Hey, what's his name? You see that right there? What's his name? That's Bob. That's Minion Bob. Bob. This is Kevin. Kevin. So we got Kevin. Bob. So they all come with like the same this little base. I don't even know how many of these we got. If there would have been like Funko Pops that he would have liked, we would have gotten them. Look at this guy. He's got a banana. This is cool. Like he even has it like a little bit in his mouth. You can see his cheeks kind of popping out. He's got the banana in his hand right there. Look at that. This is, um, that one is, who is that guy? I don't even see him on here. Oh, that's Kevin. British Invasion Kevin. Kevin? That's another Kevin. And this is Kevin. Yeah, it's a different version of Kevin. Oh, Bob. Bob. So we got another one here. Let's see who this one is. That, I think that's Bob. Oh, this is cool. Look at this one. This is his piece. Look at this one right here. This is really cool. How cute that, is that? That's Bob. This one is Peace Brother Minion. That's so Bob. So he's got a uh, is sign that right Bob? there. No, it's Peace Brother Minion. Peace Brother. little feet. This is cool. Here, hold on. Oh, well, we got a lot of these to go. We got a lot of these, Jake. All right, this one here is, he's just sticking his thumb out. This one's Stuart. So we got the minion Stuart. He's got kind of a grumpy face and he's got his thumb sticking out. So that's pretty cool. There's Stuart here, baby. Hold on to that one. Stuart. Gonna have to not lose Wait, you see it, guys? You like see it like that. We got another one here coming up. I haven't had any doubles. Look at this one. This Wait. one is, Ah, Natural Minion 1. Look at that one's cool. He's got these barefooted too. These are cool. There you go. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what other one we got here. I think that's a piece. I don't know if any of the minions are girls. She's a girl. I don't know. Oh, we got... He's a boy. Bob. We got another Bob. So now we have two Bobs. Bob. Two Bobs. Two. Don't drop them. Two. All right, we got three more to go on these little minion guys. Uh, you know which ones are cool? That vampire-looking one, Don Batty one's pretty cool. We got another another Kevin, the British Invasion Kevin. Never get it, never get it. <laughs> see what else we got here? Never. All right, this one is. They got a few cool ones in here. But it looks like we got a lot of the. Oh, this one's nice. This one is Bored Silly Kevin. 
How many Kevins are there? Look at these. I think there's like 10. How cool is that? 10 Kevins? Got a little hoodie on. Do they have, well, they have I know they have Simpson ones, Lego ones, but I wish Simpsons could make some like this. This is the last one. I think it's a double. Or a triple. Uh, another one. Yeah, Board Silly Kevin. We got the same one. All right, guys. So that's my quick little unbagging of these Minions uh, movie exclusive Illumination Entertainment baggies. Surprise free. Hey, surprise I'm figure inside. Ready. Minion surprise. So you can get these at... Um, you can get these at Toys R Us. That's where we just came out of. So this is what the packaging looks like. And they're great for kids, guys. Uh, it doesn't say, I don't know if it tells you like what ages this is for. But um, I don't know. I mean, Despicable Me and the Minions is for four, four and up. So they have all these characters right here. So, you know, if you guys are interested in these, good luck. These are pretty cool, guys. So definitely head over to Toys R Us and check them out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little um, shopping with Seth, Seth Man video. We'll see you guys later. Take care. Peace. Peace. Out. Say bye. Bye, dudes. Bye.